Meghan Markle rejected, the awkward moment Prince Harry refuses to hold wife's hand. Meghan Markle faced a shocking rejection after reaching out to hold Prince Harry's hand during young leader's reception at Buckingham Palace, as the Duke of Sussex quickly moved his hand away, avoiding the Duchess' attempt to publicly display her affection. The awkward video shows the newlyweds strolling behind the Queen, when Meghan slid her hand down to her side glancing at Harry as she tried to reach out for his hand. The Duke abruptly rejected her attempt, keeping his hands in front of his body and fiddling with his tie, while Meghan awkwardly tucked her hair behind her ear. Typically royals do not indulge in public displays of affection, particularly in the Queen's presence. However in the lead-up to their royal wedding, Meghan and Harry have been known to show affectionate public gestures, attracting remarks from body language experts. Body language expert Robin Kermode said, The Queen rarely holds hands with her husband in public and this seems to have set an unwritten precedent for the other royals. It is very clear that William and Kate are emotionally close, however, they do not seem to feel the need to prove their love, particularly when on official state business. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are rarely seen holding hands or displaying affection in public. Speaking on Kate and William's lack of PTA, Royal etiquette expert Mike Meyer said, There is no actual etiquette or royal protocol that says the couple must refrain from PDA. The likely reasoning is more that while traveling on a tour such as the India trip, technically the couple are working representatives of British monarchy. The couple are likely to show very little PDA, if any, to remain professional during their designated roles abroad. Meghan and Harry are set to make an appearance a major exhibition on the life of Nelson Mandela at the Southbank Centre's Queen Elizabeth Hall on the July 17, following their two-day visit to Dublin on July 10 and 11. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will tour the exhibition, which traces Mandela's career throughout the years, making it the first time the exhibit will shown in the UK.